how to use Freshdesk. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can use Freshworks, which is formerly known as Freshdesk. So let's get into it. So over here, as you can see, I'm on their website, freshworks.com slash Freshdesk. And over here, you can see under the pause sections, we've got softwares, and this is the Freshdesk software right here. So if you click on it, it's going to take you over here, right? So this is the website and you can try it for free. It's very simple and easy to use. And over here, you can see how it looks like giving you a little bit of preview and everything. And it's free as well, but we'll get to that in a second. There is a pricing plan, which we'll get over at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and click on try for free. Click on the button to sign up. And when you click on it, it's going to take you over here onto this section where you just simply go ahead and sign up your first name, your last name, your email address, work and everything. Enter in the phone number and everything and then just simply click on try it free and you should be good to go. You can even go ahead and sign up with Google if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and catch you guys in a sec. And here we go. So we're now logged in into Freshdesk and it's going to go ahead and ask you some simple questions like personalize your Freshdesk journey. So what type of industry you're working, how many employees you have and what is your experience with customer service softwares. So go ahead and fill this form out and we can begin. So what is the industry? Click on it and then just select the industry that you work in. I'm going to select that and then click on 10. And I have, I'm trying to use the customer service softwares for the first time. So I'm going to click on that and then click on next. Next, it's going to take you over here where you just simply go ahead and get started. So this is your dashboard right here. Here you can see all of the, your information here. This is the quick start over here. So I'm giving a simple checklist, uh, three checklists, three options to go ahead and complete. So connect your support email. Uh, explore your ticketing inbox and invite your team right it's pretty simple so go ahead and connect your support email this has to be your uh, company email if it is so any company email will do it'll work over here so if you click on connect your support email select the email service provider or the servicer like for example if you already have a google work email or a google support email you can go ahead and select that one if you have microsoft or outlook go with that if you have your own custom website then you can go ahead and select that one. And if you already have a fresh works email, you can select this one. So I have a Google email, but I don't remember. I don't think I renewed its subscription. So if I did, I'd just simply click on this button and then sign in with my support email right here. So these are all my emails, but they're all like, you know, throwaway emails. But yeah, this is like the support email that I have. So if I want to, I can just simply go ahead and select that. And then just simply go ahead and sign in and we should be good to go. So there we go. So now all I would need to do is enable SMTP slash IMAP. So currently, you know, it's down because I haven't, you know, renewed it. But yeah, if I did, I could just simply click on connect and it will work. And then I would use this email as my service email for all of my, you know, support related queries. But yeah, now so there's also this option as well uh so for now we're just simply going to use this option which is the free one so we're going to use this email and we're going to click over here and there we go congratulations our support email has been ready we can go ahead and send a test email to check it out so i'm just simply going to use google for now and we can copy it and i'm going to open up the outlook see what it does there we go so now i can go ahead and send to support fresh dirks so yeah let's go ahead and click on that send it should work now if we come over here onto the left hand side we can see all of our queries and everything so let me go back to the dashboard and check it out so here we go these are of course pre-filled data this is a sample dashboard as you can see over here this is not real data you can skip that and it'll open up over here so here we go so this is the ticket this is the test ticket right here so as soon as it works you can see it right here so it works right here this is the text ticket that we just created and we can go ahead and click on view ticket and this is how it would look like. So this is a ticket here. You will see what your customer query is about. What is their issue? What is their problem? You know, what are they talking about? And here you can go ahead and manage them. So next is going to be your managing ticket here. You can go ahead and manage your ticket. You can see whether or not it's working, whether or not you fixed it. You can assign different agents to it, assign different statuses to it. And here you can know your customer. This is going to be where you can see you what your customer is, their email, their name and everything. And then there you go. Down below, you can see the response in here. You can go ahead and select a response as well. So I'll just say thank you for reaching out. Our team is going to look into your problem. So I'll just do that as a test, you know, why not? And then I'll just simply click on send. And yeah, so now I'll click on send. 
So our ticket has been sent. But if I come back over here, should have that over here. Let me go ahead and check the inbox. There we go. So we can see right here, we have the uh, email right here. Thank you for reaching out. So it is working. So that's how it would look like. Now, let's say we fix this problem, right? So what we'll do is we'll tag it over here. We can type in the tag that we want. If you have created a tag, that's good. You can select it from the list. But if not, you can just type in the tag that you have. You can select the uh, status, whether or not it's open, pending, resolve, closed, uh, waiting on customer, waiting on party. So each of them will be different. So let's say it's pending. It means it's pending right now. We haven't resolved it. Uh, once you've resolved it, you can click on close. It'll close. It means it's done, dusted. There you go. We fixed the problem. Type over here, question, incident, whatever. So we can go with this one. Add the group. An agent is going to be uh, the people that are assigned to this role. And they're going to go ahead and fix this role. Right? That's their agent. All right? And for example, let's say technical queries, of course, forever. Agent is going to be, you know, the assignees, the people that are going to actually go ahead and fix this. An example, whatever, and you can add the reference number and then you can click on update. It has been updated. The agent has been notified and they can go ahead and go start, you know, fixing the problem. As soon as it's fixed, we can then reach it out and be like, you know what? We fixed it, done that. Please check if it's working. If it's working, let us know. Then we can go ahead and put it on here, you know, awaiting for the customer to see whether or not this works. And as soon as it's done, we can just simply go ahead and click on the close button and update it, meaning it's closed. And then here we can see the status was closed. And then we can come back over here onto the ticket sessions and we can find that everything is closed. Uh, these are all unresolved tickets. If we click on all tickets, we can see the closed tickets, unresolved, whatever we want. So this is how it looks like. So this is how we can go ahead and use fresh test to, you know, clear out queries. There are other options as well, like for example, contacts. Here you can add all of your contacts and companies that, you know, you are working with or that you've acquired and, you know, stuff like that and here is your dashboard of course you're here you will see all of your unresolved overdue due date open and unsolved queries down below you're going to see all of your main options as well now how do you add different options well you can invite your team by clicking on the invite button and then you can go ahead and just simply go ahead and select the email select the role whether or not they're you know agent supervisor whatever option you want you can go ahead and invite them and there you go that's how you can go ahead and add your team to it of course, you also have the app section if you want to add different applications just to give you a little bit of heads up like Azure or set ticket field or bulk ticket manager, whatever option you want, you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Also, you have this little option right here, a little button. If you click over here, you can go ahead and move things around. This is like their uh, Freshworks system or application center. This is like where you can switch from one application to another. If you have more accounts, you can go ahead and add more application to it as well. Now how much does it cost so here you have your plans this is your plan right here so we've got the free plan the growth the pro and enterprise you can see the free one is of course free the growth one is going to be 18 dollars per agent per month so if you have more agents you're going to have to pay more then you have your pro version which is going to be 59 dollars per agent per month and then you have the enterprise which is going to be 95 per agent per month down below you can see all of your features as well so there you have it this is how you use fresh tests these were all the informations you needed to know on freshworks and fresh test so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye